Hi everybody, Heather here bringing you a change of pace. This is a Raquel Welch wig called All That Jazz. And I was really excited to try this one because I hadn't seen any of the big bloggers review this yet. Um, and it does look a lot like the manufacturer photo right out of the box. I haven't done anything to this wig except maybe run my fingers through it just a little bit to get it to settle a little. Um, and overall, I really like it. It has an open cap construction. It's lightweight. It weighs uh, 2.5 ounces, um, which makes it a good wig for summer. Um, I'm going to try to review a lot more um, lighter colors and lighter weight wigs um, now that summer is approaching. So that way it gives you a good idea of what might be the best options now that you know warmer weather is upon us. Um, the open cap construction on, on any wig will help it breathe a little better. Like I've said in some of my other videos, monofilament tends to trap heat a little. So unless you're indoors in an office environment all day, if you have to go outside for extended periods of time, I definitely recommend open cap construction. Um, and to be perfectly honest, if you get a rooted shade, it's very hard to tell that it's not monofilament. Um, the color on all that jazz is called uh, cappuccino. It is a shadow shade um, and the the letter number combination is SS1222. Um, it is a medium brown with ash blonde highlights that are concentrated mostly in the top layers and in the front. And it also has dark brown roots. It's very, very cute. Um, one criticism of the wig, and I really only have one, because like I said, it, it's pretty true to the photo and it, it's it's very lightweight. It's very comfortable on. Um, my only real criticism of this wig is that there's a lot of shedding at first. Um, like I said, all I did was really run my fingers through it a couple times and I'm wearing a skirt and the hair is just kind of collecting on my skirt. That's kind of a bummer. But I have I haven't heard that this is a huge problem with Raquel Welch wigs and in the ones I've tried usually what will happen is they'll shed a little at first and then it kind of simmers down a bit so I have no doubts that this wig is very much the same way um, but I did want to call attention to the fact that it does shed a little bit um, the wig retails for I think about 110 115 bucks um, and it's really cute. It's got these really cute layers in the front. And like I've said many, many times, I really like wigs that do that because they're very flattering if you have a soft jawline or a round face you're trying to conceal. Um, it's kind of a structured cut. So if you manipulate the back with your fingers, you don't even need any styling product. It, it just kind of flares out a little bit and gets kind of flippy. So here's one side. And here's the other, and see all those really cool highlights and how concentrated they are right at the top? It's really nice. And I'll tilt my head a little bit so you can see the rooting a little bit more from the side angle. And now here's that. And it's a great length for summer. Um, and it's pretty decent at concealing your hair. I'll stop fussing with it so you can actually see. And see the highlights in the back and how it flares out a bit. So overall, I like this one. I think it's really flattering. It's got a nice amount of volume and body to it. It it does have permatease here at the crown. So if you don't like permatease, eh, this probably isn't the wig for you. Um, but I think it's really flattering. So I'm going to take it off now so you can see the cap construction. Another thing I like for summertime are these net wig caps. Um, they tend to breathe a little bit better than the mesh ones. So, open wefted top, sides, and back. Got a soft felt layer in the front. And then we've got the bendable ear tabs on the sides. This wig cap will adjust and it will stretch to fit your head. Though Raquel Welch wigs in general tend to run a little on the small side. Um, this will definitely be more forgiving than, say, a 100% hand-tied cap, um, which are notoriously unforgiving. So to put this wig on, all I do is shake it a bit, and gently at that. It just looks more like, like a robust shake because of how close I was to the camera. And then put it on. 
adjust the front. Make sure that the hairline lines up with your own and that the ear tabs are even on each side. Pretty easy. That's the great thing about these short structured cuts is that they just want to fall into place without being fussed with a whole lot. Really flattering little cut. So there you go. This is All That Jazz by Raquel Welch. And the color is called SS1222 or Shadow Shade Cappuccino. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.